Hello, today I'm back and I'm going to be making a cinnamon broom wreath. So first up, I have a cinnamon broom that you can find. I think I've seen at Dollar Trees. I've seen them at my local Menards. This one you can tell is hot glue on it from a previous experience. So I've had it for a couple years and I just took all the stuff off of it. It needed to be redone. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I have some craft supplies from various places. Um, the little pumpkin picks are from Walmart. I got a couple of them. I have these, even though I didn't end up using them. Those are from the Dollar Tree. I'm showing them here just in case I did decide because I didn't know the time. Um, more Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And those come from Walmart. And let's see. That's more Dollar Tree. And the scarecrows are from the Dollar Tree, which I did not end up using, but they were out. They were an option, so I had them there. And I do not remember where I got the jute ribbon for that burlap ribbon from. I've had it for a while, so I couldn't even tell you. All right, and we are going to get started on the wreath. All right, so I switched locations so I can keep my toddler out of this project. But I am just taking things that I think might look good and laying them down on the broom to see where I'd like them. I had taken my little cutters there and I had cut um, the stems apart so that I could tuck them in. And I am literally just sliding these picks in into the broom where it'll go. That'll help hold them in place until we can glue them down. And I'm eyeballing it from here. I'm sticking in a cattail there. And I don't have a rhyme or reason other than just to poke things in, poke the things in that I like and kind of see where they end up looking good. So that's all I'm going to be doing right here. And once I have them in where I like them, I can tack them down with a little bit of hot glue to make them stay in place better so that they don't fall out. But I will warn you, if you are hanging a project like this, like on a door that gets a lot of direct sun, then the hot glue is not reliable. Um, my front door gets the morning sun and the hot glue will get hot enough that it just doesn't hold anything on it. So I have to watch what I use. And I have to watch where I put projects with hot glue. But all I've done is tuck everything in. And there was no rhyme or reason. I just stuck things in randomly until it looked like I wanted it to look like. Alright, now that I've done that on the bottom half, I'm actually going to do something similar to the top part of the handle. You can see there's kind of like where the broom is tied together there in the middle, I'm going to be putting a bow right there with that burlap ribbon. So I want to kind of mirror my design on the top that I did on the bottom. And it doesn't have to be exact, it's just, I like things fairly symmetrical. So for me, it was just making them look similar was my goal. And again, I'm just tucking things in, and because of the way the orientation of those are and the fact that they're going to be turned up, I might not even worry about hot glue on that top half because gravity should help hold it all in there for me. Now it is time to work on the bow, and I'm going to be honest, I pulled off quite a bit of ribbon that I didn't measure it out, but bows take a lot of ribbon, so be generous. You can always cut the excess off, but you can't put it back on. So I pulled out, I don't know, I'm holding it out here easily, if, a, three feet of ribbon probably, I don't know for sure. It was, it was quite a bit, and I'm still pulling it out here. And you can kind of sort of eyeball it, and once you've made bows a few times, it does get easier. Now, I know there's probably better ways to make bows, but the easiest method for me is to start folding my ribbon over on itself so that I make two sides with about three loops on each side. That's about what I like. And you can make it fuller or thinner or whatever. And you know what? I actually started forming my bow before I even cut it off of the row so that I would cut the right length. And I forgot I did that until I was watching it back just now. And then once I had it about the size I wanted, I cut my ribbon off the row. 
And then once you have that, you just squish the middle together. And then you're gonna cut off a little piece of floral wire, which you'll see me do in just a minute, and wrap it tightly around the middle. Yep, there's the floral wire. And I'm just, I used household scissors to cut that off. Floral wire isn't very thick, so it cuts pretty easy. And just smush your ribbon up. And you're going to twist, twist tie this like you would a bread tie. Just wrap it around and twist it in the back. Y'all, this is not a craft that takes very long to make whatsoever. And it's not very hard to do. I'm trying to give the ribbon a good fluff up. Um, I don't know why, but I like to do this before I tie it onto the broom. Um, I left enough of a tail on the floral wire so that I could wrap it around the broom. And that's going to help hold it in place. And I'm not going to have to rely on hot glue. And then I've smushed the ribbon tying it on and I'm going to have to fluff it up again. But that's fine. That's normal. Cut the ends of your bow to make them look nice and pretty. You can angle them. You can do that little triangle cut thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, I typically just angle my ribbon ends. That's what I like to do a lot. Once I've got the ribbon tied on, I am just tweaking where all of the little picks and everything are slid into, um, bringing the top half down a little bit closer to the ribbon. Um, I didn't 100% love having a pumpkin on the top and the bottom. I don't know exactly like this, but it'll work for now. It'll do. And I thought overall it turned out cute, even if it wasn't necessarily my dream placement. It worked for a quick and easy craft. Sometimes you just need to get the job done. And that's what I was doing today because this stuff was sitting on my floor. It was a project I've been waiting to do forever. But I'm a photographer. It's October. It's my busy season at work. And yeah, I was like, just let's get it together. Let's get it up so it's not sitting on my floor anymore. And I can hang it up for decor before October's even over. So I'm grabbing the hot glue gun there. And I am just using it to help tack stuff down, including the ribbon. And uh, I'll use it on some of the little picks and flowers and things that are shoved in there that seem a little bit looser and like they might fall out. Everything is glued down, so I'm going to give that ribbon a little bit more of a fluff, and then our broom will basically be finished. And here you have the finished product hanging on my, it's actually an interior door in my house, and I tied just a little bit of jute string around the top of the broom and put a knot in the back and then just put a knot at the top so that I could hang it from a command hook. You could tie a ribbon or whatever you wanted to do, but I did use the jute string. Thanks for watching.